Another punch boxing. What's going on, YouTube? The reigning, defending, most hated reporter on YouTube, Counter Punch Boxing. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so what's going on today, YouTube? Look, I got a good one for you. You like how I just skated over that shit like, like I didn't just yell some crazy shit in the microphone. But here we go. Okay, look, Freddie Roach in a little bit of hot water. Okay, just a little bit of hot water. Now, look, what we do here at Counterpunch Boxing, okay, we bring you the truth. Okay, now, look. You know, it's kind of, you know, it's con controversial comments by Freddie Roach. Okay, but I get it. I, I think I understand what he meant. Okay. Uh, and of course, you know, you got the other channels that are jumping all over this like white on rice. Now, for all of you out there that are going to accuse me of putting out clickbait or you know, trying to make, my, well, just, just whoa, 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 hit the brakes, hit the brakes, back it up, go back and count. I haven't monetized a video in probably two weeks. I've lost hundreds of dollars, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm not monetizing my videos right now, and, and I will explain why in due time. But, um, you know, let's get to the man of the hour. So you're probably wondering what is going on, what in the hell I'm talking about. Well, I'm glad you asked, okay? Freddie Roach. Put some comments out the other day, and uh, again, it was to the, like the Manila Times, and this is overseas, the, the Filipino uh, press, okay? Um, and, and, you know, right off the bat, I'm questioning just how, you know, how reliable they are, okay? Because, for one, I know there's a language barrier, and I'm wondering if there was some kind of uh, miscommunication, you know, whenever they were, uh, you know, quoting what Roach had said. But, but if, in fact, this is what he said, then, you know, I, I will say it's not a good look at face value, but I think I know what he meant. Okay, Roach said he didn't want the Crawford fight with the exception of Mayweather Pacquiao's previous about bouts against African-American boxers didn't sell well in the good old U.S. of A. Hmm. All right. Filipino against Mexican sells well, but Filipino against black. Man, it doesn't sell well in America, said Frederick Roach. Okay, so, all right. Now, you know, I, I might get into, I'll get into Crawford here in a minute. Okay, you know, let, let, let's, let's just talk about something for a minute here. What, what, what does he mean by that? Okay, what does Freddie Roach mean by that? When he says that, they, look, they're referring to a Terrence Crawford fight because, you know, the reporter said, hey, you know, why, why are we getting Jeff Horn? Which, look, I'm here to tell you, okay? I mean, I'll get on top of the Empire State Building, shout it to the world. It's a bullshit fight, okay? A bullshit fight. It's not going to be on HBO, by the way. And guess what? I'm not going to make a $100 video just to tell you that. So it's not going to be on HBO, okay? Um... And actually, I don't know where it's going to be. But but look, let's break down Pacquiao. Okay, I, I went back to 2010. Okay, you go back to 2010 to, to the Joshua Claudi fight. He's had 12 fights. Six of them have been African-American fighters. Okay. Um, and, you know, I don't really want to break down the numbers, but there's, there's truth in what he's saying. Okay, from a finan financial aspect, but here's what he meant. Okay, sorry, we're, we're nearly at the four minute mark, and I'm going to tell you now what he meant. Look, he's talking about the rivalry in boxing. Okay, clearly. I mean, seriously, this is clearly what he's talking about. I mean, look, you get, you know, how, how, how many times ha have you, the boxing fan, heard, you know, Puerto Rico against, uh, against the Mexicans? You know, we just had Oscar Dale. La Jolla in the Canelo Cotto fight. I mean, they they labeled that fight, you know, Puerto Rico versus uh, Mexico. You know, it, it's, it's been going on forever. I mean, but you know, I mean, even back with uh, like Trinidad, uh, Trinidad and uh, Oscar De La Hoya, same damn thing. Okay, I mean, this is just common. It's like soccer. Okay, and I really think when he made that comment, you know, I think he's saying, you know, Pacquiao, he's known as the executioner. Okay, I mean, that that's a phrase coined by HBO. You know, they called him the executioner, right? The Manila Ice. Remember, develop the right hand, the Manila Ice, <laughs> which is fucking corny as hell, but. Um, 
That's what they called the punch. They called the punch the Manila Ice. So, you know, I, I really think he's referring to the rivalry. But like I said, in his last 12 fights, six have been against African Americans. You got Claudi, Mosley, and then Bradley three times. Okay. And then before that, you know, like I said, you know, they, like I said, they, they, they called him the Mexicutioner. You know, you go back two fights with Marco Antonio Barrera, right? Three, one, two, three, count them, uno, dos, tres, with. Eric Morales, okay, Eric Morales, right, lost in 05, TK, or then, then, then won by TKO in 06, then they had a third fight that was a money grab, which, you know, hey, I, I really like Morales and Barrera, and then, of course, we all know the Juan Manuel Marquez, 04, a draw, 2008, uh, won by split decision, 2011, won by decision, uh, 20, let's see, 20, 2012, yeah, 2012 was the knockout. I don't have notes in front of me. I might, I may be a little bit off on that, but 2012 was a knockout. Uh, uh, let's see, beat Barrera TKO 2003, and either it was either and then then 2006 or seven. I can't remember, but he beat him by decision. So my point is, you know, and then of course we can't forget about after that the David Diaz fight, the Oscar De La Hoya fight, and then of course the Cotto fight, which he's Puerto Rican, not Mexican. But my point is, you know, it's a rivalry, and I really think that that's what Freddie Roach is referring to, you know, I, uh, I, I, I just, I honestly don't think there was any racist intent behind that. I mean, he's not dumb. Why in the hell, why in the hell would Freddie Roach, you know, get up in front of, you know, hundreds of reporters, right? And they're sitting there, you know, they're writing down everything he says and they're taking notes, every little thing he says, okay, Mr. Roach, but, 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 you know, like verbatim, why in the hell would he say some dumb racist shit? Okay. He's referring to the rivalry. Now, of course, you got all these other channels. Here they come. Like, oh, Freddie Roach is a racist. Oh, my God. You know, we got we got Russians and racists running around everywhere. I can't keep track. I mean, seriously, these channels out there are, are just pure clickbait garbage. My God. And, you know, here's the crazy thing. You know, you can nitpick. You can nitpick any boxer, any coach. You know, I mean, look at Virgil Hunter. You know, according to him, you know, the big bad Russian is just a vodka drinking racist piece of crap, according to him. You know, but let's not talk about uh, Hunter and his daughter. Uh, Google it. OK, we won't get into that. You know, that, that dude has no room to talk about anybody's character. So, you know, get off the moral high ground, get off your horse, buddy. So, look, let me let me read a little bit more. Like I said, this was basically his response after you know asked about terence crawford and then he said you know he likes mikey garcia or uh danny garcia uh popularity wise i think mikey garcia is the best option because it will pit mexican versus a filipino okay that's what he added right that's what he said you know he didn't say hey i'm a racist and i don't like black people and you know it doesn't make any money i mean come on look at the mayweather fight you know all three bradley fights did really good they did i mean for you know by pacquiao's standard they they did good so you know uh, i i just but 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 not as good you know not as good as i think maybe maybe a garcia you know a mikey garcia danny garcia a keith thurman okay something to that effect but now <clears throat> I do think, I, I think where he's wrong, okay, I'll say this, okay, now, now, now all the trolls out there, you know, hear me, hear me loud, hear me loud and clear, okay, I think he's wrong about the Crawford fight. I think financially it'll do good, but according to him, you know, Terrence Crawford is some guy from Nebraska. Who the hell is Crawford? You know, so he's just like, no one knows who he is. This is a fucking Omaha. You know, this this is this is the big this is the big boy stage. You know, the the Hall of Famer. This is the the elite global world superstar stage. Okay, this isn't let's go fishing in Nebraska shit. Okay, but he says, but I like Danny Garcia the best. Mikey, a three division champion, current lightweight titleist, but he's about to move to welter by the way to fight fight broner uh, of course the brother robert garcia who coached former pacquiao's foes antonio margarito oh i forgot about and brandon rios all mexicans uh, executed by the mexicutioner i mean 
Man, some of them in just horrible, embarrassing fashion. Danny, on the other hand, is a former two-way world champion who recently lost a close match against Keith, sometimes Thurman. Okay? Now, I would love to see, man, I, I would absolutely love to see Danny Garcia get the shit beat out by Pacquiao. Would love it. I mean, I would pay triple. I, 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 if, if, look, if that pay-per-view cost $299, I'd order that shit because I would love to see Pacquiao beat up on Danny Garcia. So, um... Let's see here. Let me read you what Crawford said, and I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it off. So now they're going back and forth, you know, talking about who dug who, what's going on here. Terrence Bud Bud Crawford vehemently denied pricing himself out of a potential showdown against Filipino boxing icon Manny Pacquiao. This after reports surfaced that another boxer, Jeff Horn of Australia, has become the front runner to land the Pacquiao but or Bout now. This was a this was a couple you know a few months back. Crawford tweeted, uh, "Never asked for, asked for seven million to fight Pacquiao just to clear the air. I, Terence Crawford, never asked for seven million. There was no conversation of me even fighting him." And then he goes on to accuse Pacquiao. He's like, "Look, if anybody's ducking anybody, Pacquiao's ducking me, fun, Okay." Where is it? Let's see. Here it is right here. Bam. Let alone money. So cut it with all the he say, she said shit stuff going around. And if I did and if I did shit, he asked for 20 million. So who priced themselves out basically is what he's saying. OK, he's saying like, look, Pacquiao wanted 20 million. I made a video about it and, and you know, reports had it. Pacquiao wanted 20 million. Channel said that's a clear duck. That is a clear duck. You know, and I don't think it was a duck. I think it was a pass. There's a different, you know, there's a different saying, look, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to pass right now. Like right now I'm a Senator. I'm doing my thing. I'm going to go, I'm going to go beat Jeff Horn. And then, you know, we can get a Terrence Crawford fight. And I really think that's going to happen. I think we'll get it by the end of 2017, possibly 28 is what I think okay so you know what are these channels going to say when Pacquiao says yeah hell yeah I'll take it but here let me end it here 30 seconds here we go start the clock 30 seconds okay Terrence Crawford needs to move his big ass up okay this bullshit this weight bully bullshit of beating up on people at light welter it needs to stop okay if he wants to be the best he's got to do what the best do he's got to fight the best he needs to move up and stop beating up on Gamboas okay and, and all this bullshit he really does I mean he needs to get out of Omaha Nebraska jump up to wel at welterweight and, and, and make a name I mean he's already he, look he's already proven himself at, at, at a light welter there's nothing left to do there move up and challenge Pacquiao you know that's what a real champion does I mean all look all the elite world-class fighters they've all moved up okay at, at one point or just like I think Gennady Golovkin will move up after the Canelo fight this is what they all do it's it's time he moved up okay it's it, I mean, it's past time I mean this dude should have moved up like a year ago so I'm going to end it there. All right, look, leave your comment below. Do you, I mean, do you, I mean, honestly, do you really think Freddie Roach, like, had some kind of racist intent behind his comment? Or is it like us? It's, it's a rivalry. He, he's speaking on the rivalry. So leave your comment below. And did Pacquiao duck Crawford?